Okay, so that's what you would get from going to the traditional I Ching books, those three hexagrams. Now, it's, this is how we're doing for time. Yeah, so this is a little long, but I want to go through it. This is, we'll do it faster for the other ones, but I want to go through at least one of the thoroughly. This is, these are pages from my own book on the I Ching, The Sequence of Change. It's, it's not a, a translation. It's an inter reinterpretation. Every day I sat and meditated and I wrote a paragraph. I went through, it took about five to 10 years to get this done. And uh, just based on the lines and the meanings and what they imply. So, okay, you'll see this one, you have the hexagram, you have the number, you have the sign, you have the color of it, you have a shape of it, the Kabbalistic shape of it. And then interpretation, interpret at the beginning, there's a sequence, the time of day, time of year, time of year, moon phase, it tells you which it is. Then you have an interpretation of above and below. Let's make this a bit bigger. The abyss above, wood below. Deep water, penetrating wood. The water is there, but the roots may not reach it. The well is there, but it is not in good order. It will be difficult to drink. Danger without, gentleness within. There is work to be done. Criticism will not help. So it's a different take on it's not interpreted in the same way culturally, but it has the same, it, the meat teachings have still come from dangerous and difficulty above the gentleness below. The image, to penetrate the depths, to find light and darkness and to bring joy to the world. If you want to, te if you want to teach, positive content is important. Maintenance of the vehicle is critical. To be discriminating will ensure good fortune. Set a good example. Right, goes on to the next page. If the body gets sick, who will follow it? Good water, good life. So this is, we got, we got the same three things, but it's written just in a slightly different, more modern style. The judgment, difficulties without sensitivities within. There are problems to be solved. Words of caution will not suffice. That's the abyss above. Talk is cheap. What is needed can be seen. To help others further, to help oneself will draw criticism. The best leaders walk in the rear. In this way, dangers can be seen and the vulnerable can be helped. To be content with oneself, one's own self-worth, one must have the welfare of others in one's heart and act accordingly. So that's the judgment. And mine, there's a, a section on the family relationship. Um, it's a little more neutral related, but it still is a political system within each, I'm not gonna, no, I'm not gonna go into that right now. We're just gonna follow the same thing. So we had the image, then we're gonna go to the line. So in the individual line, there's three There's three interpretations of the individual line in this. One is based on the traditional I Ching logic. One is based on the hexagram for the degree, and one is based on the pentan that fits to it. So, so as the sun shines and all, you must share. This is within the well. You must share your insights and resources, the well, the depth. Consider the greater good. Be patient. Do not let your own energy degenerate. Or the well is being lined proper, is properly lined. Accents will speak louder than words. Fill the stomach and not the mind. Let the young and the old drink first. It's simple consideration. That's the inner truth effect within this line. The fourth, sixth, and the fourth place. This is gonna. This is gonna be interpreted with the, um, the Aries pentan. Um, is that right? With the Aries pentan. Yeah, the Aries pentan. Um, the problems are more than one person can handle. There will be delays. One joins with others to help. Good fortune. Well, I mean, Young is a really incredible person. His works. And his teaching. It, had, it built up his own society, his own, the Jungian society, the Jungian branch, the Jungian psychology built all up. But he also affected way more people through books and through media that weren't even part of the society. They got to understand his concepts and apply them to his life. So he had a, a visible and an invisible effect. Broken, there's another extra a technical consideration of power of the line. Broken or in an even place. Appropriate receptivity, yielding at the right time. Holding together with appropriate energy below holding the other with appropriate energy above. So this is some of the power struggle of measuring the line, the line that's above it, the line that's below it and its implications. So this is, was my interpretation on that. Then if we go to inner truth, 
we'll have above the penetrating wind and wood below the lake firm but gentle above firm and happy below laughter in the wind happiness that hurts no one oh, whether it's sarcasm or anything okay it's the image wood moves on the water one must stay alert and adjust to the demands of the time energy must be directed to the common good thoughts must be kept to oneself do not throw pearls before swine do not disturb the stomach or the ears inner truth be peaceful the stomach or the ears if they're disturbed you're going to eat or you're going to listen to something and you lose your inner truth the judgment so it's hard to assess all of this right away i'm just going through it once so i've done it and you can see the distinctions um this book my book on the sequence of change in total it's about 3500 pages too big to be a book it's a cd a dvd, a DVD with di digital it's uh, it's a digital well, pdf from that and it's given out to people who pass their level seven exam the, the transit exam they get they're given this complimentary to go on from here um otherwise it can be purchased through the store um okay the judgment gentleness without pleasure within if one is gentle one can get what one wants if it can be expressed is it inner truth contemplation and satisfaction are not the same contemplation comes through non-action satisfaction comes through action if one is virtuous no words are needed if one is not virtuous how can words have inner truth? It is difficult to keep the toes, the hands, and the mind still. What goes into and what comes out of the mouth is the measure of truth. It is, in, it is indeed difficult to keep the jaw still. So this is a play on the hexagram because it has two subtle lines above, two subtle lines below, and openness between. It's like the two teeth, two sets of teeth, and, and how we move our mouth. So what comes in and what comes out is part of that image. I won't do the family, the family relationship. There is an interpretation for the pentans. One becomes sensitive to what disturbs the peace. One champions a noble cause. There is no need to talk. There is no time for personal indulgence. Actions will speak louder than words. Now, when we take the line of the second place, um, Let's just go back for a second see what i want to go back for a second, see what the inner truth said before on the upper one inner truth window relief the superior man discusses criminal places oh no that's the image the, a crane calling in the shade it's young answer said i have a good goblet i will share it with you so let me get down to here to the lines of inner truth one is active everywhere but no one notices the power of gentleness is often unseen and underestimated. Expressions of happiness are short in duration. Any deviation from virtue will be noticed. So just, it's not, it's, they're different. They're, they were not written to be the same or copy one or the other. They're just written purely from the understanding of the lines. But in his life, the inner truth, his inner truth, which went out to a lot of his teachings, went out to many people. There's very few people he kept his his personal marriage and his love affairs only people closely around him would know about this so um in this place it's solid in an even a solid line or an even place line too so it's inappropriate action firmness at the wrong time holding together with inappropriate energy above so this is this, this, these are little ideas but as you take these ideas they'll apply very clearly to how it's guiding a planetary energy and it's not hard once you get the get the metaphor and you think about what the heck I'm saying to begin to apply it astrologically and see it as an add-on to your chart the gentle penetrating wind and wood above the wind above the wind below the wind penetrates through the trees the trees will bend in the wind enduring gentleness one will have a profound influence what one cannot get from the mother, one will get from the father. A gentle breeze through the trees moves around obstructions. Gentleness penetrates hearts. Clarity and happy and ab clarity about the happiness of others brings good fortune. Listen well. Speak cautiously. The judgment. 
gentle penetration within and without. Words of advice. One repeats oneself for greater effect. If one is sincere and considerate and one's words are well spoken, even those at a great distance can be influenced. This is really true for Carl Jung. Sincere and considerate, words well spoken, even those at great distance can be influenced. He's influenced the world in the way people think. How much more so than those for those close at hand? What one says will be repeated. Some will sympathize and others may scorn. It would be wise to reflect before one speaks. But collective unconsciousness, synchronicity, these are young in terms that did not exist but that before him. And they've, exi- they've predominated psychology and inner thinking for ever since. So this is really in the mechanics of how to work with how to work with the So this is the third one, the penetrating wind wood. And um, if we just go back to see what line was nine at the top, penetration under the bed, he loses his property and acts. Perseverance brings good fortune, brings misfortune. So that was the line, and we'll come down to this to see what comes in. They're going to be different. Um, okay. One wants to rest but cannot. Too much is at stake. If one were able to listen, one would do better. One acts when one should not. Someone will be inconvenienced. Credibility will be diminished. Well, it's a little nicer than saying um, 